all our graduating economics students, from everyone in the economics department, we wish you all the best in the months and years to come. We hope you'll all take the time to celebrate everything you've achieved, and we hope to see you back at Duke in the not too distant future. While these are strange and challenging times for all of us, we hope you'll also take the time to reflect on and draw strength from your success. For now, enjoy. Well, hey there, class of 2020. Thanks for stopping by. On behalf of the EcoTeach staff and all the faculty in the Duke Department of Economics, I want to say how happy we are for you and how proud we are that you've overcome all the hardships and obstacles to complete the major and finish your degree at Duke. Now, I'm also a little bit sad because this is supposed to be graduation weekend. It's a weekend where I get to meet your families and say goodbye in person for one last time. But you know, Duke Econ majors are known for finding opportunities in the oddest places. Now, usually it's by evading or finding loopholes in the graduation requirements, but hey, that's water under the bridge now, isn't it? But let me give you a little bit of bright side, a little bit of upside to the situation. You, the class of 2020, will always be known for surviving some of the most hard conditions ever faced by econ majors or anybody from Duke for that matter. So you, the class of 2020, will be always known as the toughest, most resilient class ever to come out of Duke. And that's really impressive. In fact, it's so impressive that I want to give you a special toast. And I thought, what would be the best way to give a special toast to Duke econ majors? And I finally thought of something. Let me get it ready here for you. There's only one thing that can really convey my respect adequately for Duke Econ majors, and that's jerky. So Duke class of 2020, here's to you. You're the jerky in my Manhattan. <sighs> Congratulations, until we see each other again. Dear class of 2020, congratulations. It seems like yesterday we all walked in Econ 101, analyzed PPFs of smokes and jerkies, and admired Professor Fullenkamp's extensive collection of bow ties. Now, years later, we can call ourselves economic graduates. In the past weeks, we, while still on campus with a few fellow students, I had time to reflect on my experience at Duke. You know, I grew up in Milano, Italy. One of the biggest motivators for me to come here has always been my grandfather's story. My grandfather was one of the first Italians to have the honor to come to the United States to pursue higher education. I never had a chance to meet him, but the photo of him on a boat, sitting with two friends crossing the Atlantic towards a land he probably could barely imagine motivated me to pursue a similar adventure. However, when I got to Duke, the culture of excellence at this amazing institution and our amazing economics department made me question my grandfather's story. He took all of his courses, always standing out on top of his class, and days before his final exams, he still decided to return to Italy to marry my grandma. It is our culture of excellence that made me ask myself, did he fail? Four years in, later, this question has always been in my head. And only now, in the solitude of our beautiful quarantine campus, I found my answer. It's not about proving knowledge to others through a degree. What will distinguish us is how we will use the power of knowledge to shape and improve the world around us. Our society has never needed more empathetic, educated, young minds to analyze the problems of this world and offer solutions based on facts and truth. My grandfather did not fail. He was just brave enough to know that he was going to prove his education not through a diploma, but through his actions. And to all of us, I say the same. Now it's time for us to go out there and prove ourselves. So good luck to everyone. It was an amazing four years and congratulations again. It was supposed to be the best time of our lives. The last LDOC, the last beach week, a whole graduation ceremony, time to celebrate us, time to celebrate the four years that have gone by and have changed us, made us who we are today. And as I finished my last exam on uh, May 1st, I was looking back in the last four years and it was sad to see that we didn't have that last opportunity, that last hurrah.
but it's also hard to not feel like we've come a long way, like we have accomplished something, that this is in fact a new beginning. I look back at my four years and I remember coming to the States for the first time in 2016 to be here, not knowing where Duke was. And I asked somebody, I was there with my dad, I asked somebody where Duke was and that man sat me down on the brick wall around his campus and was like, here, look, this is Duke. And at that time, it was the same feeling of not knowing what the future held, of not knowing what I'm going to do, what it looks like. But I was excited. It was going to be an adventure. And this would be my home for the next four years. And that feeling of I knowing it is a challenge, but also being excited, is what I was hoping for as I graduated this amazing institution. And it's not the same, but it very much still exists. And why it does is because we've made it to the past four years of being Duke students, through all the stresses and friendships and heartbreaks and exams and memories, every single one of them has made us the person we are today. And it is amazing because we've grown in more ways than one. There's no way that Duke will not be forever a part of us, part of the person we've become, part of the person who goes into the workforce. And that in and of itself is something worth celebrating. I would have loved to celebrate so many milestones in the last one month with my friends and be at Duke and just know that I'm getting my final hurrah out of this, but we look to the future and we see opportunity instead of dread. And we try to make the best of who we are and the circumstances that present themselves. The pandemic is the least ideal way for us to go out of this institution, but it's also testing us in ways we haven't been tested. And I know that we will make it through because we've made it through four years of Duke with an econ degree, no less. Happy graduation, everyone. Hello, econ majors. I uh, finished my last exam this past Friday afternoon, and it hit me that my time as an undergraduate was um, finally actually over. It was honestly pretty anticlimactic. I had expected to be leaving Duke on my own terms, still grinding late into the night in the library, saying goodbye slowly to my friends and mentors on campus. However, here I am speaking to you virtually today. Many of the things I valued most about my time at Duke have come from my experiences in the Econ Department. Some of my first and closest friends on this campus were people that I took Econ 101 with freshman fall. Dr. Follenkamp's class brought us together in the way only Econ 101 really can. The uh, Econ Boys, as we call our group chat, are still two of my closest friends today. It has been my privilege to experience the passion of my peers and to have them around for support in my time at Duke. One of the most important things I learned as an Econ major though, was that while you can't always choose what your options are, you always have choices and can make the best of the options that you've been given. While things are uncertain now, I hope that you all are drawing on how you've grown at Duke and are choosing to make the most of your time. I hope you all are at home, bonding with your families, catching up remotely with your friends, sleeping, working on personal projects, and living your best lives. You all did this at Duke, and I expect nothing else going forward. I hope you all are taking this time to take risks, try new things, and to lean in to the uncertain times we're currently living in. In any case, I finally wanted to thank again all of my friends, professors, and mentors that overlapped with economics in my time at Duke. Coming out of here, I am passionate about economics, in large part because of all of you. Congrats to those of you that are graduating, and I'll see you all in person at commencement in the near future.
Thank you.